Barnaby, it is good as always to see you. Uh, I do want to ask you about Optus and this no refunds deal, but it is going to provide its customers with a whole bunch of data that a lot of customers probably don't need. What do you make of it and, uh, and the scandal that erupted over the company this week? Well, it's a bit of a mess, isn't it, Peter? I think that we have to ask the question how 10 million people obviously lost uh, connections to their phone, whether it's mobile, whether it's uh, cash economy. Now, they're going to have an inquiry. I think they should have a really serious one because let's, let's hope it's just an internal mess up and not the actions of a, of a malicious uh, participant mm. in this because if it is, uh, imagine what they could do across our nation. Just goes to show you that how vulnerable, vulnerable we are to um, certain, if they're, you know, if it plays a cyber attack or something like that, we've got to know about it. And this is the sort of thing mm. that government's got to be, you know, all over like seagulls over chips because you, you can't have these sort of things happening. It, it could cause massive damage yeah. to how our economy works and and uh, obviously it's a, it's a dry run for where how things can go wrong. So... Oh. Uh, Minister Rowland's going to have an inquiry. Well, that's a start, but uh, would have been better if it never had happened in the first place, and that's a question that Optus has to answer for. Sure. Us. Should Gladys Berejiklian run the company? Um, look, uh, that's a question for Optus. They, uh, I think competency's got to run the company. You, c you can't just have it sort of switching off for six, seven hours. Mm. And, uh, you know, they've, they've got to ask the questions, what is their skill set? Why did it take so long to get back up and running? And the first thing we've got to know is exactly transparency. How did this happen? What, mm. what, what, what went wrong? Don't just, we all know the phone went down. It, we all know uh, that people couldn't basically transact. They couldn't, the shoppers, people, shops couldn't make money. They're going to send them, what, $100 worth of data. Well, that, that won't even touch the sides of what, what a lot of shops have lost during the day. Just, I mean, yeah, it is, it is a question for the company, but, I mean, in terms of a PR move, um, it, it wouldn't be a bad one getting, getting Gladys to run the whole thing. Um, look, I'm going to leave that to that. Like, I, I've <laughs> got a lot of respect for Ms Berejiklian, but just I don't know what a skill set's like in telecommunications. Maybe okay. they're brilliant. I, I, I don't know, but sure. I'll just say okay. right now you need competency. L let's go to... Um, Anthony Albanese, he is resisting Pacific calls so far, Barnaby, to reduce or phase out coal exports. Uh, is that music to your ears this morning, at least? Well, it should be music to every person who likes their hospitals, likes their roads, uh, likes their pensions, likes the NDIS, uh, likes to make sure they've got poli a police force, um, you know, likes uh, all the, the accoutrements that go with living in Australia because... If we don't make money, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have money to spend on things. You can't come up and ask people on your road. Uh, I want to spend money on defence. I, you know, I want to make sure our schools are right. Because it's, we've just got to be adults. Yeah. Money's got to come from somewhere. We've got to be exporting something. If we're not exporting coal as much as you might not like it. Forget about those surpluses. You won't have them. They're all over. You'll just be borrowing more money. And... Um, you know, I, I, so, yeah, Mr Albanese, the Prime Minister, has got to keep his economic head screwed on yeah. uh, because Fiji's not going to send you the money to support your schools. I can assure you of that. Also, has he got a magpie there, Barnaby? It's a, it's a sort of a carbon thing. It goes into the bottle, <laughs> bottle brushes. I'll tell it, be quiet. Be quiet! <laughs> hey, just still, still with the Prime Minister, can you dance as well as he can? Uh, I think I can do better, but I'm not going to do it for you. <laughs> Just on a serious note, just to close out here, Barnaby, tomorrow is Remembrance Day. Uh, what will you be doing? Yep. I'm going to Remembrance Service in Tamworth at 11 o'clock. Really important. I'll just say to your listeners, it's your family's heritage, your great-grandfathers, your great-granduncles, maybe in some instances your grandfathers, and all you have to do is shut up for one minute at 11 o'clock. Just put your phone down, stop what you're doing, and consider those who basically went out and defended this nation. It would have been devastating if we'd lost the First World War. Yeah. I remember next door to us was a German colony called Papua, called New Guinea, and that's where our first casualties were, first fatalities. Okay. Yeah. Barnaby Joyce, appreciate your time as always. Thanks to you.